Hello guys. So welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today we are going to show you how to use VS Code with Java and the Maven. So basically we are going to create a Maven project in Java. Uh, VS Code is a very lightweight yet very fast uh, on turbo you can say a very new kind of editor which can be used with a multitude of languages it can be used with java it can be used with python it can be used with shell scripting and uh, and all this can basically be done with uh, small extensions that you can download from vs code marketplace so let us go and uh, download the maven and the java extensions in the visual studio code so here we are i uh, will just type maven here and see what comes so we have uh, this nifty little extension we should go ahead and install it while it installs i am also going to install the java support since i do not have it you can basically type java and uh, the same thing which came here would basically come here so we are downloading these two extensions which should help us to get started with the maven project let's wait while this is stalling so maven is finished uh, let us see if we could use it to do something. So here we are creating our first Maven Java project. The R type window has pop up and uh, we need to select Maven R type. Let's go with a very basic one. R type quick start JDK8. Let's click on that. Select a version. Let's take a latest one. Uh, select destination folder. I will just keep the Java folder that I already selected. Same. And now we have a problem. Uh, it says the Java home environment variable is not defined. So let's try to fix it. We'll go in file, preferences, and settings and uh, search for maven settings and hopefully we'll get something to define uh, to find the java home in there so here we have executable path clock pattern and here we have maven terminal use java home let's hope that this uh, fixes our issue and uh, maven basically takes whatever java settings that are available in available in the environment so let us close this window and uh, try to re-execute whatever we were doing and we select the hash type as jdk quick start select version select destination folder and yes now it has taken the correct java home and it is, it is generating uh, the project basically in our in our uh, destination folder so this is taking some time okay so we have basically skipped the group id which is not good but for the sake of this demo i think that is fine the package should be okay so group id should be basically the same um, skipped on the group id so it is asking those questions to me again i guess 
component which is fine uh, so now it has taken those values and it has generated the folder structure for a typical maven project let's see we'll expand this particular node it has src main and in that we have the app.java which is our main uh, file containing the public static void main so, so basically here we have the maven project built in the vs code um, it also has the JUnit test case uh, and uh, everything seems to be in order so let us go and try to execute the test and see if we have everything in order yes the build is success and the test is successful so here we go it has the pom uh, dot xml that you can edit and edit the dependencies uh, plugins and uh, whatnot and basically everything there it is in place and you can basically see a couple of I'm, I'm going to show you the couple of code complete features there are so here here you can see almost like any uh, you might have coded in Eclipse you might have coded in NetBeans you might have coded in IDEA IntelliJ IDEA and pretty much everything that these standard editors offer the look and feel of this VS Code project you would almost uh, not want to go back to these bulky editors again so we are at the end of this tutorial thank you very much for watching